I would say this is pretty, pretty brutal for a question five, but it did come up in a past exam. Let's have a look. The question says in the diagram A, B, B, C, and C, D are three sides of a regular polygon P. And we're asked to show that polygon P, this one here, is a hexagon you must show your working. So AB, which is this one here, BC, this one here, CD, or three sides of a hexagon, show that this is the case. How are we gonna do it? We're actually going to do this using what we know about the internal angles in regular polygons. What do we know? We know, or we could do it in a couple of different ways. My personal favorite way is to use the fact that we know that an interior angle is equal to the number of sides, minus two, times by 180, divided by the total number of sides. We know that the square has an interior angle of 90 degrees. We can work out what the interior angle of polygon P must be, or it should be this angle here, um, if it is in fact a hexagon. How can we do it? Well, we know that for a hexagon, we have six sides. So working out an interior angle, we can do six, subtract two, times by 180, divided by the number of sides, which is six. Let's work this out. Six minus two is four. Four by 180 is 720. 720 divided by six is 120. You can absolutely use your calculator for that. So we know, in other words, that we have to show that this angle is 120. How can we do that? Well, if we work out the angle here, the interior angle of the 12-sided polygon, then what we can do is we can take this and our 90 away from 360, and that should give us 120. Let's get it done. So for our 12-sided shape, we're going to do 12, subtract 2, times by 180, divided by the number of sides, which is 12. 12 by 1, sorry, 12 minus 2 is 10, times by 180 is 1,800. So we have 1,800 divided by 12. 1,800 divided by 12 is going to be 150. Absolutely use bust up or your calculator for that. So we know that this one is 150. So can we show that this angle here is 120? Well, we know that our two other sides are 90 and 150. So I'm just going to move out of the way here. We can, I'm going to swap to a different color just to make this clear. We can do 150 plus 90 is going to be equal to 240. Then we can do 360. I'm moving down here now, take away uh, that 240, which is 120. So we have shown that this angle here is 120, therefore it must be a regular hexagon.